This week's motorsports adventure is coming to you from Reno, Nevada. Well, City of Reno is basically sister cities with Sparks, Nevada. We're right next door to each other. We really operate as one, one area. Lake Tahoe is just a short 40 minute drive away. Um, so really it's a, it's a regional effort and everybody you know, who's living down here in Reno heads up to Tahoe, whether it's summertime to hit the beach or winter to go skiing, do some snowmobiling maybe. And people up in Tahoe of course come down here for some of the great special events that we have in the Reno Sparks area. We got to meet the folks from one of the largest classic car shows in all of North America. The folks from Hot August Nights arranged to come out with a beautiful Bel Air convertible and take me for a ride around town. Now it took me a little while with Mike the driver to convince him to let me drive the car, but I am the motorhead traveler, I absolutely had to. So we got a chance to, you know, kind of see the main drag and cruise the, the strip of Reno as it were, and that was really fun. We are coming up on our 26th anniversary this year. Um, it's, it grows every year. There's lots and lots of cards that come out. Um, it's a nostalgic event. So you got cards, you got entertainment. Um, it's all about taking you back to the 50s and 60s and 70s. And um, any car that's 1972 or older can come and register. And it's just, it's, it's a great event for Reno. Kind of triangulated to the east of Reno and is Virginia City which is an awesome place to visit. They do gunfights out in the road. Um, you know, a lot of people wearing that old style dress from the 1800s, one of the biggest silver mines in the world, really brought people out west and made the west what it is because people were coming out here to go to those mines and search their fortunes. Once you get here to Virginia City, on um, this beautiful little classic town with all the old buildings, um, it, it's even the home to Samuel Clemens, was the original newspaper person here, reporting in the local uh, paper, as it were. And the other unique and interesting thing here in Virginia City is one of the last steam trains, probably in all of North America. What we offer is pretty much two different trains. Uh, the one over here is our local. It runs between Virginia City and Gold Hill and back, about 35 minute four and a half mile narrated trip. Our second option is the long train that runs from Carson City, the state capital, up to Virginia City and back. It's about a six hour day trip. Thunderbird Lodge at Lake Tahoe is Nevada's only historic house museum estate at Lake Tahoe. At this place, an intersection of history comes together. We have mining, lumbering, timber, conservation, recreation, all intersect on this property. So this vehicle here is one of the true nautical legends of the Lake Tahoe area, the Thunderbird, and it's actually powered with aircraft engines and maybe one of the most beautiful examples I've ever seen of a wooden boat. It's just absolutely stunning. We then got to visit the National Automobile Museum and we met Becky Contos and Jay Hubbard and they took us through and gave us the VIP tour of this facility. Well, the, the National Automobile Museum has been in existence about 21 years now. And uh, we are from the old Hera collection, Hera Automobile Collection, Mr. Hera's casino empire. He indulged his passion in uh, collectible and antique automobiles. When he passed, the 175 of those automobiles were given to us to form a permanent museum here in Reno. You know, when I first planned to come down to the Reno area, our first reason for coming here is I contacted the folks from Wide Open Excursions and, you know, through that discussion, I don't think I've found a better fit yet for the complete concept of what we like to do as the Motorhead Traveler and an organized tour operator in such a high-end vehicle available for rent and the kind of driving experience attached to that is basically this, get in the car and drive, which is really, really great. Not a lot of instructions outside of the fact that, you know, they'll go over all the safety issues with the car, make sure you get fitted with your helmet right. 
And then from there, it's basically listening to a radio instruction so that you don't get lost out in the desert. Our original aim in doing this business from 14 years ago, 15 years ago, the original owner was to take people to Baja or take people out in the race courses here in Nevada or on the, on the dirt roads in Nevada and show them, give them a taste of what it's like to go to Baja or to Nevada and not, not necessarily in a racing situation but as a tour, as a, more of an adventure kind of a thing. This is a Motorhead's paradise. We've had a ball. This is a wonderful community. Come on back next week for another one. Woo